Jamalto has reported full-year earnings that met expectations. The security software maker accepted a $5.6 billion takeover bid from a defense company Talus two months ago. Is that deal still on track? Joining us now from Paris is the company's CEO, Philippe Vallet. Philippe, let me start just by asking you about the deal. When do you expect it to wrap up? Well, I mean, uh, as far as the deal is concerned, we are uh, progressing. I mean, the deal, I would say, is on track. Uh, we said when we announced that deal with Thales that we should complete it by H2 2018. And I see uh, no reason why we should change this uh, perspective. What, uh, do you, how do you see your earnings uh, performance today in light of that deal? And how do you expect the outlook to change uh, in 2018? Well, for for uh, for Gemalto, for for my teams, uh, for me, it was very very important to uh, uh, deliver the guidance uh, we delivered to the market mid 2017, which we did uh, with a, a, a slight increase uh, over H2 vis-à-vis -vis our turnover. Uh, we grew by plus one percent, and uh, we delivered the uh, profit margin that we uh, we announced mid 2017. So it was very important. Uh, for us, vis-à-vis -vis the very hectic conditions we faced uh, beginning of 2017, in particular in the U.S. EMV market, the banking car market, and the overall, overall speaking, on the same business. Uh, so I see, uh, I, I do consider that we, we finished uh, 2017 on a much more positive note compared to the first part of the, um, of the year. And I think this is also, uh, uh, I hope, uh, will, be, will be very appreciated by, uh, by Teles, I, I, I would say. Philippe, good morning. It's uh, Guy in London. Um, what are you going to be doing in the new company? And how does the new management team create value? The shares are up quite strongly. Uh, so I'm just wondering how much value there is kind of left to be gained for shareholders. Well, what, what is important uh, is to consider that this is a, a development project. Uh, uh, Gemalto is a, is, a, is a leader in the digital security and Thales, uh, as, a, as a strategic vision, wants to accelerate in, in this perspective. So we would bring uh, to Thales uh, a lot of uh, new uh, skills, a lot of new engineers uh, being able to contribute uh, to, this, uh, to, this, uh, to this vision. On the other end, this is the opportunity for Gemalto uh, product teams and, and sales people to benefit from uh, additional access to, to market. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, today, Thales is present in many airports in the planet, and it, it happens that Gemalto is really helping uh, the, uh, the, the journey of, of travelers. We, we all know that the traffic will increase in airports going forward, so it's, it's very important that we bring uh, more uh, user friendliness, more speed when travelers go through the airport, whether for uh, uh, let's say border control or for payment or, uh, you know, uh, uh, the access of uh, editing the boarding cards. And I think we are very complementary between Teles and Gemalto, just in this example, among many others. You, you bring up the issue of uh, frictionless global travel. Philippe, I just want to ask you a broader question. This morning, the news flow is dominated by the idea that we are heading potentially towards a breakdown uh, in the global trade story. The, the, the last three decades that when we've seen globalization take over and barriers come down is going to start to go into reverse. As a CEO of a large company, what do you see going forwards? Do you see it getting tougher? Do you see the global economy suffering as a result of this? Well, as far as, as, far as Gemalto is concerned, we see more and more di digitalization means that we do indeed uh, see a lot of our customers interfacing, interacting more and more uh, with their uh, users using uh, digital technology like smartphones, like tablets, like uh, portable computers, whatever. And it's very important that we keep on working on the right balance between security and user friendliness. This is a key motto at, uh, at Gemalto. And uh, if you take in perspective, for example, the famous PSD2 in Europe, which is opening uh, a banking uh, relationship, opening the banking world vis-à-vis -vis the, the users, we think Jamalto can bring a more uh, efficient authentication process while interacting with your bank using a smartphone. And uh, we see for us more opportunities than, than challenge, I would say, in this perspective. Philip, I didn't just get, I, I didn't get an answer as to what your plans are. 
Well, today we are uh, working in five different uh, uh, mar with five different market sectors. We work histori historically with the uh, banking environment and the telecom space, but we yeah. have uh, diversified the company. Uh, today we work with governments, uh, we work with the Internet of Things opportunity, we work with enterprise, and we are both yeah. working on the protection of the employees while enabling those uh, digital uh, interactions. Right. Sorry, I meant you personally. Sorry, sorry. Can you can you repeat the question? I'm not sure. What, what I, are you? What it. are you? What is, what is your role going forward here? Ah, sorry. So as far as I'm concerned, I will be uh, leading this uh, new business unit. Uh, Giamalto will will uh, will form um, uh, a new global business unit within uh, uh, Thales, to to which Thales will contribute uh, digital assets that they have already. And we would, uh, we would form uh, that business and uh, we'll be in charge of it. 